Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Topple Grace. My name is Michael, I am the founder of Topple Grace and the Righteous Past Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is Egypt, the big picture. You have to understand, brothers and sisters, that it is very important that we see these images coming out of Egypt right now. Because you have the study document and you have the timeline and you know when the loops will happen. And you have an understanding that this year, 2021, is important in, in two time frames. The first one is the mid of the trumpet tribulation. And in the mid of trumpet tribulation, the abyss will open. And this is what you see here. This celebration is a coming forth of all the dead people who are coming out of the abyss, the demonic spirits, the pharaohs of old, and everything will come. And the fixation is on the Middle East, on Egypt. The time is, is absolutely correct that it will come forth in this year of 2021. And then, of course, there is another time when 2021 is important, just before Jesus comes forth, when the Satan is at his greatest heights. Then also the focus is on the Middle East, because this is a time of the second presidency that will return to, to Mr. T presidency, where the focus was on, on the Middle East, on Egypt, on Saudi Arabia, on Israel, on all these places, Iran. This is a time where we will return to. Now, I want to ask you a question, brothers and sisters. What is more easier, if you have the technology, to find an alternate reality where your Antichrist and where your beast is already in full power? where all the technology and everything was already used and produced results or to bring forth new technology or bring, bring it forth by yourself it is much easier to look for an alternate time reality where everything is already done and that also I believe what Hitler was looking for with his operation uh, um, um, the, the, the Glocke, the bell he was looking to find an alternate reality where the German Nazi regime has already won the war. That's what he, why he started these things. If he would have found it, the world would have changed. Because he would have tried to shift all the people over to that place. It started in that time and now we see the culmination of it. Now we see everything coming to pass. Now we have the technology, the possibility to do that. Satan is just going down through the different timelines to find the ones that he wants to go to. And we see it all fitting in the time frames. You have the first study document where you see all the patterns, everything fitting to the years that we describe as the important years of the loops. All is fitting and this year is no difference. Look at what... <laughs> just this hype about the Messiah. Is that not amazing? Also that is fitting in the year 2021 with this, this man in, in, in Israel where they say he is the Messiah. Look at that. This is a fulfillment of the Matthew scripture where it says, No many people will come in my name. But that is trumpet tribulation time. That is a tower time loop. That is 2021. And then of course it has a relevance, uh, 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 relevance to, to the time of Armageddon when the true Messiah will come. So it's all fitting, brothers and sisters, in this year 21, perfectly together. Now, what will happen now, after the fulfillment of the first seven years, is that we will be looped back to Obama's presidency. And there we have two loops. And in these two loops, we will see the Antichrist rising. We will see the harvest. We will see Obama as a world dictator and then we will go over into the time of Trump. The time is here. If you say, oh, this is impossible or not impossible, it doesn't matter. It will happen. The portal in heaven will open and as soon as it opens, we will be shifted. And the people who are not prepared will stand in perplexity and will lose their memories. And the people who are ready, the harvesting brides, will be in a different place than the chapter of Satan. 
they will not be in Abraham's bosom as the sleeping churches and they will definitely not be in the lost places of the dragon lair. But Hades is coming forth and extending over the earth. All the signs are upon us. The time of Noah with the old people dying and the next is a flood and all coming forth. But remember that we are in a time of the spirit of escape as we have discussed in many study documents and many videos. And now this escape spirit is also for the enemy side, for Satan. And Satan will try to loop, to gain more time and to find the right alternate timeline where everything is already done. Because he has the technology now. The earth is quaking. The foundation of the earth are opening up. A kind of abyss picture is coming forth. And Egypt is fitting in this picture wonderfully with everything. Egypt was a place of slavery. Fitting with the great exodus. Where are we going? What is the chapter in the book of the timelines for, for Satan? It's a place of bondage and slavery, a new Egypt. We know a new pharaoh is rising. We know that Obama will come back in, in what way or whatsoever. He will come back. And that is because we are looping back into his presidency. Egypt is a prison. Egypt was a prison for the Israelites. And, and the Lord had to send his special envoy to Egypt to take the people out. That has no difference to our destiny and purpose in the spirit of Moses. To be sent into Egypt into the prison of Satan to set the people free. Moses, Jesus and the harvesting brides. They are the three powers that he will send to set the people free. Moses went to Egypt. Jesus went into the under the earth to death and Hades to his full place, to the place fully controlled by Satan. And we will go into the extended Hades place. So three times again the number three fulfillment. Get an understanding what you are going to do, brothers and sisters. You are called for greater things on the line of, of Moses and Jesus himself. Stand ready. Be a powerful warrior to go inside there and to set the people free and to stand against the Pharaoh. <coughs> Egypt was a prison of old and now Egypt will become again the prison in an extended hazel over the whole earth. And the new Pharaoh, Mr. O, will come up. You see, in Egypt were the slaves. In Egypt, the, the, the children of the Lord were in slavery. And now they will be in the extended Hades in slavery. But the Father will send people in to set them free. And that is the great exodus. I have talked about the great exodus for the last 10 years. And now it's here. It is here. The great exodus is here. Do you think that's a coincidence with this ship ever given from Evergreen shipping line? Of course not. Why was it there and blocking and making a passage from one place of the Red Sea to the other one in the Suez Canal? Why? I tell you why. Because it's a pattern to the Exodus. And that's the reason you have to get the understanding what is a pattern now? Why is it applying right now? Why is it coming for us? Because it's a time of looping into the prison, into Egypt, where the new Pharaoh will rise. You have seen it all in front of your eyes, brothers and sisters. Egypt is the main point, the main focus point. Why? Because it started with Egypt. The Lord called his people out to the holy mountain from Egypt. Do you think a new Egypt in a new form will not come? Everything that will be, was in the past will be repeated again. And there's nothing new under the sun. God is in circular time. And now we have time to reach the time of Egypt. You were long enough in bondage and slavery. 400 years have passed for the Mayflower Compact. 400 years are over. And now it's the time to come out of Egypt. And now it's the time to be rescued. This is your time. If you are lost, if you are sleeping churches, people will come for you to give you a choice to come out. Could Moses force his Israelites to come out of Egypt? No. If they would not have gone with him, 
What would have been done with the left behind people? They would fall into the hands of the Pharaoh and would have been killed. Right? The same will happen now. If the people are not going with you to the holy mountain, to Mount Zion, they will be left behind in the extended hazes and they will be killed. They will be beheaded by the Antichrist. Not everyone will go with you, unfortunately. We cannot rescue everyone, but at least we can try. I said, what, what would happen if Moses would have refused to go and the Lord would not have sent somebody else? Then what happened? You see? Nothing. They would all have died in Egypt. That was the first place where Satan tried to take down God's children, Egypt of old. And the same pattern apply now. The Lord is sending new Moseses in to Egypt, where the Pharaoh, Mr. O, will, will come forth. And we will set the people free. The patterns are here, the timing is perfect, and it will happen either still in this April or in May. This is the time, brothers and sisters. Stand ready. Any minute you can be moved. Are you a powerful warrior, bride? Have you taken the sword in your hand? Are you ready to go into Egypt? Are you ready to take the people out? Egypt is a big picture. Egypt is a pattern. Egypt is a pattern to the Exodus. Egypt is a pattern to the Holy Mountain. Egypt is a pattern to where the father first met his children. Now it's the time for the son to come and get his children out, out of the new Egypt. 400 years have passed, brothers and sisters. We all know this. There were so many videos about the May Mayflower Compact. 400 years are over. And when 400 years are over, the mercy of the Lord will fall and take you out of bondage, out of this world where you are in bondage that you have voluntarily accepted. Yes, you have, because you wanted to fill your pocket with money. You have voluntarily accepted it. You were working for the things. You thought you can have a good life in this world. But it ended up in bondage and slavery. And look at you right now, now. All your freedoms are taken away from you. More and more you are in bondage and slavery now in this world. Time to shift. Time to enter the new Egypt. Time to set the people free. This is your time. Brothers and sisters, I don't want to make this video long because I do not know how long the old computer is holding. By the way, thank you so much for the people who have come forth. We are only lacking now $500. $500 only. And then we have completed it. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you for all your kindness and all your gifts and everything what you're sending towards me. But remember that we're all standing together on that battle line and that we are standing against Satan, that we are standing against the upcoming Pharaoh and that we will prevail because we are the warriors of the kingdom of heaven and we are the true ambassadors. You are called forth into your destiny. As it was of old, so will it be again. The end will be declared from the beginning. So if the end is a new Egypt, then it will be declared from the old Egypt and it will be the same pattern coming out of Egypt going to the path, the narrow and righteous path, towards Mount Zion, crossing the Red Sea, being out of the reach of Satan, and then walking towards the holy mountain, Mount Zion, and there they will be raptured into paradise and have eternal life. Rescue as many as you can. Bring as many people as possible to righteousness in Daniel 12, 3, and you will shine as the stars in the firmament. Your destiny has come, and Egypt is a big picture. Study the documents, put them all together. I'm working on a new one, by the way, to give you more understanding about the timing with the live stream of next Tuesday, if we are still here. Watch this weekend, important. And then every day, going forward, until second Passover or first Passover, whatever people claim and say, it doesn't matter. The time is now. If it's on a weekend, if it's on a Wednesday, if it's on a Thursday, it doesn't matter. It will come to pass. The portal of heaven will open. And then in the twinkling of an eye, everything will start. And you will be ready. Because you have come to this place. Because you are ready. Because the Lord has taken through all this, what you have experienced in your life, so that you are ready for this moment. And now you have received the truth about the time looping, so that you can stand ready. 
and that you can be the new Moses that will go into Egypt to set the people free. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.